All right, real quick. I have got to adjust the tappets or valves on my Sato radial engine. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Let's go over the tools that you need first. It's really straightforward. I'm gonna be using a little tiny four millimeter open end wrench, as well as a one and a half millimeter and two millimeter Allen or hex driver. Uh, that's really all that you need for this job. The last thing that you're going to need is a set of feeler gauges. And in this case, I'm going to open this up to the 0.1 millimeter feeler gauge. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is use my two millimeter hex driver to remove the tappet cover. Keep those in place and we'll set that aside. We're gonna check the uh, distance between the, uh, the tappet and the valve itself. The first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that you are not under pressing here. So you, can, you can see how the rocker arm is already pressing on the valve at this time. So we're gonna rotate past and make sure that we are not pressing down on that. Now we can take our feeler gauge, put it between, put it between the rocker arm and the valve, and it's fairly loose. We want to tighten this up. Should be a little bit tight, but not uh, not terribly so. Using my four millimeter open-ended wrench and my one and a half millimeter hex driver, we're going to first loosen. Notice how I go back and forth a little bit to loosen that tight. All right, and then once that is loosened, then we can loosen this screw, which should tighten that gap ever so slightly. All right, so I've adjusted now again to where I'm nice and tight. See some minor scratching here. So I know that I'm a little bit tight, but it's not super tight that I can't put it in and it's not loose where it feels like I have no resistance at all. From here, we replace the cap. And tighten the screws. Now on this engine, I just have to do it nine more times. Absolutely worth it though. What a beautiful engine.